Good afternoon! <laughs> Umabot din tayo. Good afternoon, good afternoon guys and welcome to our open inquiry na live streaming sa ngayon. So guys, if you have inquiries po about ticket, visas, traveling to Dubai, tours or anything about UAE, anything about being an OFW, open topic po tayo ngayon. So just write down in the comment box below. May mga inquiries na tayo kagad. Someone is asking for a ticket rate. But before that, hello kay Leslie Mary. Hi kay Juni. Good afternoon to Bliseda Gonzalez Cabrera. Hello din sa'yo. At ha 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 din sa'yo. <laughs> okay, so kung lang natin na someone is asking for a ticket, uh, I think kailan yung date niya na ako na kailangan. Wait lang ha. I need to check yung pinaka-date na hinihingi niya. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so hello kay Joy Ramos. Kilala po ba diyan yung company na Gastronomica? Well, personally hindi ko alam. Ayun, so sa mga viewers natin if you guys are familiar of Gastronomica, tinatanong ni Joy if this is famous sa inyo, siguro baka ibang industry kasi to kaya medyo hindi ako uh, hindi ko masyadong alam. Okay, so dito muna tayo. May inquiries tayo for the ticket. Wait lang. Ready? Okay, get ready. Hello to Dita Blan. Mark Stephen, hi kuya. Uh, June, ano po talaga news about sa good conduct? Oh okay, guys, so yung good conduct po natin, hindi po siya postpone, okay? Postpone lang siya for those who are working na mga households. Okay, so malinaw po yan. Postpone po yun until June of 2018. Yung mga domestic helpers, ang category. But if not, required pa rin po talaga siya. So, If I were you guys, and of course, especially if you're really looking for a job and you're still applying job ngayon, I suggest magpa-appointment na po kayo sa Philippine Consulate kasi by appointment po ang pagpunta doon. Okay, once you get your appointment, and according to one of my viewers, I think the earliest date na na-available is April. So, ibig sabihin, fully book na for next month, for the month of March. So, yun yung problema natin, ano? Kasi sa laki nga ng population ng mga Pilipino na nandito. So, get your appointment. Para pag may appointment na kayo, punta kayo sa consulate, fill out kayo ng form number 5 for MBI clearance. Fill out nyo doon. And then, dyan na rin kayo sa consulate, magpapap-fingerprint, 
and need to be signed by a UAE police. And then after that, fill out tayo ng affidavit, o, no, special power of attorney, uh, parang authorizing one of your relatives in the Philippines to process your NBI clearance in the Philippines. So, ipadala yun sa Pilipinas, dadali nila, of course, kukuha na kayo ng NBI clearance. Kapag okay na yon, kailangan pong ipa-read ribbon sa DFA at ipa-attest sa UAE Embassy sa Manila. Pero ito, kailangan ipa-DHL nyo siya. Okay? Kasi hindi po pwedeng pumunta yung tao lang sa UAE Embassy. Then, once everything is done, kailangan nilang ipadala yan dito sa inyo. And, kapag nakahanap kayo ng work, your PRO will ask for a good conduct certificate. Kasi this is one of the requirements na kakailanganin to process your employment visa. But for those kababayan natin na nandito na matagal na, as your PRO, it's because minsan ang inihingi lang po is good manner conduct, which is parang police clearance lang siya. And you don't need the NBI clearance from the Philippines. So, the, the, the best way guys, especially yung mga nakapasa na sa trabaho, as the PRO or your PRO or your PRO of your company kung anong conduct ang kailangan mo ay kung anong certificate ang kailangan mo Okay, so ito yung inquiry mo I don't know, Kimbert, if you're watching uh, kailangan niya ng sa Monday Monday na ticket I think Cebu Pacific ang kailangan nito So Monday is 26 after 10 days Seven. Okay, sige, I'll check ha for you. Ayun, sorry sa bad news. Kasi nga, uh, yun, may emergency shot. Hello, John Maranion. Good afternoon. Okay, wait lang. Ticket muna. May inquiry tayo. Ah, no, no. Sibo pa si Tika. Kasi no luggage siya eh. Sa ticket kasi guys, if you are asking for a ticket na no luggage, Sibo Pacific lang po ang po pwede sa ganun. Kasi uh, other airlines, automatic po talaga may baggage na kasama. So, I will check now. Kimbert, if you're watching... So, okay. No food na rin natin, Bert, para mas mura. Check in on me. Tanggalan natin ng meal. Yun guys yung advantage na kasi ng Cebu Pack. Pwede mo tanggal bawasan ng meal, pwede mo bawasan ng luggage para mas bumaba ng konti ang meal. Ayun. So, convert if you're watching, nasa 1,900. So, 1,900 to win na yan. Okay, so 1,900 to win na yan. Nasibo Pacific ng, this is Feb March, no, February 26 to April 7. No meal, no luggage. Yun na yung rate. Okay, hello kay Kanda Spanyol Lin. Hi kuya, watching from Kuwait. Hello sa inyong lahat. And of course, sa lahat ng mga viewers ko sa YouTube. Ayan, good afternoon sa inyong lahat. May nagbabanggito ng Qatar, ng Kuwait. Nagpapashoutout sila sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin sa Middle East. Ayan, good afternoon sa inyong lahat. So, ongoing na ngayon guys ang press conference ng Suk Pinoy Slim Down Challenge. Kaya just check out guys ang kanilang Facebook page. Naka-live sila ngayon. So, unfortunately, I cannot attend. It's because I am working.
Okay, so we have a comment here. Kay di tablan palumar yun sa anabasa na natin yan. And Maricel Judoro, hi Juni, gandang hapon. Pasakotan sa mga U15 girls, especially kay Jo, EG or EG and Ate Beth. Thank you and have a nice day. To Edna Fabol, hi Juni. Off topic, just I wanna ask the title of the song. You're currently playing many things. But guys, this is from uh, Mr. Ronnie Raimondo. Okay, again, I will share you guys the link. Para po... Ano kasi siya? Dubai na Dubai kasi siya. <laughs> so I think it's really very perfect for my show. Kaya... The best. Thank you so much, Sir Ronnie, if you're watching. I'll, I'll send, I will send you guys the, the link. Okay. Okay, I'll check other airline. Naghanap siya ng other airline aside from Cebu Pacific. So, we'll check. Goodbye. Bye, Dubai. Inatawagan pa kita di ka sumasagot. Kaila inaala kahit kami ko'y ipisala. So guys, I have to priority yung inquiry sa akin nito kasi nga namatayin siya ng mother and it's urgent. Yan yung advantage, disadvantages guys, no? If may mga emergencies tayo, gaya nito, namatayin siya ng mother. So ang, ang problema, yung... Ito guys, just for everybody's uh, information, yung ticket po talaga, if it's, the date is too close, the date of your flight is very close na po, expect mas mataas na yung ticket rate. Reason for that, it's because, syempre, lahat ng mga travelers, they would look for the lowest rate right away, right? So, lahat ng mga agencies, eh, ang ino-offer nila yung mga lowest rates pa. But then, once all the economy, yung mga ganun, lowest seat rates are, done, are gone, eh, expect po talaga mas higher class na talaga ng seats. Ang makakuha mo, and it's always expensive. Yun yung problema. Kaya to those who are planning to have your vacation, if you think you have the budget now, I suggest guys, book your ticket as early as possible. Okay, so we have message from Inasha May Arieta. Kuya, tanong ko lang, natanggap na kasi ako sa work. Pero yung offer letter, next week pa daw. Kasi, sab kasi I need to face the co-partner of the company. Dapat po bang mag-follow up ako or kulitin ko? I'm new po kasi dito. Okay, so you're saying na parang you are parang hired by the company na. So parang let's say, parang pumasa ka na sa kanilang shortlisting and pumasa ka na sa kanilang uh, tawag nito screening. Pero since they need you to have a final parang interview pa with the co-owner or co-partner of the company, so parang hindi pa siya 100%. Okay? So once everything is done, then that's the only time na definitely they're going to give you the yung offer letter. Pero kung, kung if you're going to ask me kung kailangan mo ba silang i-follow up or, or not, well, I think yes. Mas okay siguro na mag-follow up ka. Pero wag naman yung may, may, may message ka ng message ng message. Eh, nakakairita naman yon At mas maganda nga actually na you will do that follow up para mas maramdaman ng, ng company na ina-apply mo na you are really interested. Kaya, sa'yo, Inasha, yan, good luck. Good luck sa'yo. Okay, hindi ko kaya yung budget ko. Kaya sige ko, salamat. Oh, mataas kasi talaga ang ticket. Kasi 
Anyway guys, we would like to say thank you so much of course to the Philippine Consulate or the Field Club 2017. Kagabi natanggap ko na yung ano yung uh, certificate of appreciation for epic tourism last night sa kanilang Thanksgiving party. So nando I was there from the time na nagsimula until almost matapos because I waited for my uh, recognition then as one of the media partner ng ng Bayanihan Festival 2017. Thank you so much of course kina Chairman Tata Dayot and of course kay Sir Erickson, kay Vice Chairman. And of course to all na mga nakilala ko at nakausap ko yesterday. Thank you so much guys. Nakakatuwa no na na kaya rin naman palang pag-unite pag -uni, pag okay, lahat ng mga organizations or Philippine organizations dito sa Dubai so now yung pinaka-recent na figure we have 106 okay, na Filipino organizations dito sa UAE or sa Dubai and the Northern Emirates kaya nakakatuwa ang laki ng population ng mga Filipino dito kaya All you need to do guys, at least say may mga araw kayo na parang feeling mo boring or minsan yung mga useless lang yung mga bagay na nagagawa mo. Then look for these organizations. Malay mo, di ba? Gusto mo yung organization nila and you can be one of the member para magiging worthy yung mga day off nyo. Right? One of some organization that I would like you guys to join is of course yung isa sa mga organization ko. That's the United Hoteliers of the Philippines. So we welcome... Kababayan dito sa UAE, those who are working sa hotel, restaurant, and tourism. You can join our organization, guys. And uh, what do you this? You, as a member, of course, you will going to benefit yung learnings from from members who are also working in the same field. So this is actually advantage to those who are, let's say, nagpaplanong magtaas ng career or lumipas sa ibang companies. Kasi nga, what we're doing, we're sharing job openings Okay, in in from from different companies na kung nasaan kami ng galing. For example, we have members from let's say Burj Khalifa, and if they have hiring, okay, definitely aware yung mga members na nato. They're gonna share that to our chat group. So and then what we're going to do is to share it to our friends, especially to those na nagahanap din talaga ng trabaho. Or if you let's say you need a special training. At ang magdi-train sa inyo is yung mga expert din sa field na yon And we have members na nagdi-train talaga. So, one of our ambassador of course, is ng UHP, si Miss Vagelin Federico. She's the HR Director of Lusitani. So, we will be having our parang 2018 meeting tonight. So, whatever man yung progress na yun, guys, I'm gonna announce it also online. Kaya please guys, do share this to all of your friends and relatives na nagtatrabaho sa hotels, restaurants, Tsaka sa tourism to be part of United Hoteliers of the Philippines. Okay, you can also be a member of Kiwanis. Ayan. So, lahat ng mga taga-Dava, we have the Bawenos na organization dito. We have engineers. We have a lot. Okay, napakaraming organizations. Kaya, masaya. Oh. Okay, so some of viewers natin while we are still waiting guys for your inquiries Just FYI lang po, no? right now guys uh, Highly recommended pa rin po sa mga kababayan natin na matatapos na ang kanilang mga tourist visa Yun, So we encourage you guys to get airport to airport exit Kasi po mas affordable siya compared to exiting to Oman by land Okay, so what we are offering right now guys with those who would like to avail one month visa package ng airport to airport exit natin for only just 1,400 and to those who would like to avail yung 3 months visa package natin is 1,900. Pero ito, terms and condition applies sa 3 months visa natin is because, not terms and condition, may age restrictions kasi siya. So for those, especially sa mga females natin, 30 years old and below must have a visa guarantor na first blood relative na naka-residence visa dito. If not, we'll be offering you guys the leisure visa package ng airport to airport namin. Wherein, we're offering it for only just 2,400. Okay, so for more details, guys, you can PM me. My contact number, numbers, 
is nasa title po natin. So you can message me anytime. You can WhatsApp me anytime. Kahit madaling araw, it's fine. WhatsApp. Kasi pag gising ko kinabukasan, then I'll give you a reply. Okay, ayun na. Yun na yung message niya. Yun, sorry talaga. Mataas talaga ang ticket na na, na ano ko dito sa kabayan natin na may emergency kasi namatay yung mother niya. But then the ticket is really high. Okay, so ito, dagdag information natin sa mga viewers natin yung naka-live. Ayun, ito guys, no, I received messages kasi for those kabayas natin in the Philippines na na-offload na. Okay? If na-offload kayo before and now you got a job under po kayo sa employment agency, okay, for example, na-offload kayo before, whatever man yung reason ng offload nyo dati, at ngayon naka-apply kayo sa isang employment agency at naka-hinar nila kayo, at ipaprocess lahat ng mga documents mo, etc., etc. Now, ang tanong kasi nila, Sir, kinakaban ako, baka mamaya, hindi ako palusutin ng uh, immigration officers natin kasi na-offload ako before. Guys, the answer to that is wala po kayong dapat ikabahala. It's because, ito nga po yung pro tamang process talaga eh, ng pagtatrabaho dito sa Dubai or sa UAE. Kailangan mo talaga dumaan sa employment agency, then your employment agency will process everything, uh, bibigyan kayo ng uh, seminar. Anong seminar ngayon? PIDOS, okay? So, ang kagandaan po ng PIDOS kasi guys, is yung pre-employment ano? I'm not sure. Something like that. E? PIDOS. What's PIDOS? My God. Pre-employment the basta it's a seminar. Okay, departure ano yung O? Uh, overseas? Overseas seminar. So, ibig sabihin po, ito kasi guys ang kagandahan ng tamang proseso ng pagpunta nyo dito sa UAE na kung gusto nyo magtrabaho. Because all applicants na hinar ng mga employment agencies in the Philippines, eh, mag-undergo sila ng PIDOS. And the advantage of you attending the PIDOS is bibigyan kayo ng orientation about dito sa country na pupuntahan nyo. So, alam nyo yung mga do's and don'ts ano yung rule ng salary dito, etc., etc. So at least you will have an orientation. Parang katulad ng mga videos ko, yung nga saan kasi it's a real life orientation na ah, ganun pala yung bahay doon, ito yung bayaran doon, etc., etc. So that's actually the advantage of you guys from employment visa in the Philippines under sa mga employment agencies. So if that's the case, wag po tayo mag-alala kahit ano pa yung reason na na-offload ka dati, eh wala na yun. It's because ang gusto nga ng mga Philippine immigration officers natin in the Philippines is lahat tayo, if, lalo na magplano talaga magtrabaho sa abroad, eh dapat dadaan talaga sa employment agency. Okay? Yan yung proseso na dapat talaga natin sinusunod. Okay? So sana makatulong po yan. But, to do sa na offload na dati, okay, ganito lang yun eh. Definitely guys, immigration officers natin sa Philippines will give you the reason why they will offload you or they will cancel your flight. Okay, and if you can supply yung mga na-require nila doon sa'yo, then you can still rebook your ticket and balik kayo, kumbaga mag-flight mag, mag kayo ulit. One very good example is, I have a, a client, okay, na not actually my client nung una, uh, galing sa ibang agency. So, pumunta siya dito, and then I think there are some other important documents na wala siya. So, ang ginawa ni Philippine, uh, ni Philippine Immigration Officers, may pang-page na tab na binibigay sa inyo guys eh. Kailangan ng, uh, tawag nito, kailangan daw ng OWA ng kapatid, affidavit ng kapatid, ganyan-ganyan. Kasi nga, ang nagbigay sa kanya ng sponsorship is kamag anak niyang malayo. So, when she sent me message, and I asked kunting, 
kwentuhan and then doon ko nalaman na may sister naman pala siya dito. So sabi ko, bakit ka hindi nagpa-sponsor sa sister mo? Eh kasi sir, mas... Kasi akala ko okay lang si tita kasi nga mas malaki ang sahod niya, ganito ganyan. But then, parang first kasi ng mother niya, na, na parang basta medyo malayo ng konti. Kaya yun, so hindi po po pwede. Sobrang layo na po kasi nun. So, ang ginawa namin, we reprocess yung affidavit support and other documents niya. Tapos ngayon, sister niya na, yung, uh, brother niya na ang naging sponsor niya. Kaya pag lusot niya ulit, so si immigration officers may record siya doon. So, okay na lahat. Then, natuloy na siya. So, yun lang naman, guys, eh. So, to those who are sending me messages, especially na offload, please, guys, do share yung reason why kayo na offload. Para po matulungan ko kayo. Kasi minsan, may lang mga kliyente kasi, ayaw nilang sabihin, sinisikreto nila. Tapos, malaman-laman ko na lang na, sir, nahold ako ng, ng immigration. Sabi, bakit? Sir, sorry, hindi ko na sabi na offload kasi ako dati. So, yun, you have to be honest sa akin, guys, if Kasi uh, kinukonsulta ko kayo. Kasi that's very important. Mas may iwasan natin yung gastos. Right? Okay guys, so we have one message here from Jaylin Hernandez de Guzman. Okay, sabi niya, Kuya, ask ko lang kung ano ang mga requirements na pwedeng hanapin sa immigration sa asawa ko pagpunta niya dito sa Dubai. Galing po ako sa, sa tourist visa before, pero ngayon nag-work na po ako dito. Okay, uh, Jalin or Jaylin, I think it's Jalin, uh, whatever, basta yun, uh, para sa iyo yung, uh, yung answer ko dyan is ganito. Since you are going to tawag nito, to sponsor? No, 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 wait lang. Oh. Okay, since you're going to sponsor your husband, kasi asawa lang eh, si Jalen is babae. Tama ba ako, Jalen ba babae? Okay, anyway, since ikaw mag-sponsor sa asawa mo, ito po yung mga requirements na very important. Of course, una, of course, you need to have the visa. Kailangan apply mo ng visa ang asawa mo. Since lalaki naman yan, eh, madali yan apply yan. Kasi sabi ko nga, di ba, ang may age restriction lang naman sa pagkuha ng 3 months visa is yung mga female na 30 years old and below. But then, since ikaw naman yung first blood relative niya as wife, so pwede pa rin siya doon. Bakit ko ba pinapagulo? Anyway, so ang kailangan niya po ay, of course, visa. Second, kailangan po niya ng two-way ticket. Okay? So, kailangan ang ticket niya is going to Dubai. At since hindi siya naka-residence visa dito, ito guys ha, if you are traveling wherever in the world, it is always required, guys, lalo na kung yung country na pupuntahan mo is you are not a residence visa holder, it means kailangan mo po talaga ng ticket returning back to Philippines. Okay, dyan nung lumalabas-labas yung mga dami ticket lang. Okay, and you also need, of course, an affidavit of support. Kailangan yon And bring, if I were you guys, bring the original copy of your marriage contract and your original copy ng parang NSO copy or PSA, PSA na tawag, di ba? Copy ng inyong mga birth certificate. So, your marriage contract, tapos yung birth certificate ng dalawa, I think that's enough as a proof of your relationship. And in that case, wala po tayo magiging problema sa Philippine Immigration Officers natin. Kasi di ba, pupuntahan mo asawa mo eh. Okay, so ito nga guys eh, basta ang pupuntahan mo dito sa UAE is your immediate or first blood relative Bigay nyo sa akin yan, wala tayo magiging problema dyan. Unless, meron kang kaso dito or you are with issues sa immigration ng UAE. Okay, thank you so much for your message, Jalin. Yan, sana na, nakatulong tayo. And if hindi mo pa napaprocess yan, if I were you, send me message, then assist kita. I'm
Okay, so since we're talking guys about yung mga requirements kanina of if you are going to send your first blood relatives or immediate uh, family in the Philippines going here, ito guys, no, uh, our rates, okay, dito po sa NPK Tourism, for those who would like to avail a one-month complete uh, visa package, ang rate po natin ngayon guys is only just 2,100 dirhams. Okay, pero we're giving you guys is either, is either Philippine Airlines or uh, Emirates Airlines. Pero if you want it 2,000 dirhams, Cebu Pacific or Katay Pacific po ang ticket. Pero kami kasi as much as possible talaga, just a tip to everyone, we recommend or I personally recommend talaga, especially if your relative is a first time traveler, kailangan direct flights pong ibigay natin sa kanila. Kasi I experience being a first time traveler dati. Siyempre matatakot ka eh. Di ba? Yung, baka mamaya yung time interval ng flight yung masyadong maiksi eh hindi siya ma 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 wala siya doon and all. So we recommend guys Emirates Airlines Philippine Airlines. Ayan. So okay po yan. Okay. And for those who would like to avail lang aming 3 months visa package guys it's a complete package na po. Wala na kayong dapat ipag-alala pa. And we're actually giving it, guys, for only just 2,800 dirhams. And our total number of days processing of all of these things, just give us like 10 to 12 days. I think that's more than enough para makompleto natin yung mga dapat natin kompletuhin. And additional info, ito guys, no, please don't be scared if we will just going to send you the e-visa copy. Yun po yung ano, yung parang isisend lang namin sa email nyo yung visa copy nyo, tapos ipapaprint nyo lang. Starting June of 2017, last year, eh, e-visa na lang po ang sinisend po natin at wala naman po nagiging problema. So, there's nothing to worry about that. What's important is kailangan confirm ang mga ticket mo at hindi pa uh, void ang iyong visa. Ayan. Tsaka, of course, meron tayong proof of relationship. Okay, hello kay Jerwin Sencilia. Hi, Juni. Totoo po ba na pag may employment ban, hindi pwede makapasok kahit visit visa? No, that's not true. Ito guys, kapag employment ban or labor ban, uh, you can come here as a tourist or visit visa, wala pang problema. You cannot just get a job. Kasi di ba naalala nyo, if you are aware, di ba maraming mga kababayan natin na na labor ban sila, ang ginagawa nila, nag exit exit lang sila. Let's say, Nag-resign ko si JP kasi nga si JP medyo ano medyo may problema sa utak. Slow. <laughs> okay? So syempre ang nangyari eh tinerminate siya ng company niya so or nag-resign pala siya kasi hindi niya na kaya ang trabaho. So once you resign kasi guys, automatic meron pa tayong light labor ban. So ang gagawin lang niya, kailangan niya mag-exit, balik siya ulit ng 3 months and then exit ulit ng another 3 months. So that's total of 6 months. So after that, then pwede ka na mag-apply ng trabaho mo. Okay? Pero guys, ganito, when it comes to labor ban po kasi, always think guys, okay, consider this, that meron po tayong tinatawag na labor, labor visa and immigration visa or tinatawag nilang free zone visa. Okay, so if you are from a labor visa, tapos na labor ban ka, you can apply jobs na nasa free zone uh, visas or free zone companies. In that case, wala pong problema. Okay, but if you are applying, let's say if you got a labor ban from a labor visa, tapos mag apply ka din sa mga labor visa companies, eh hindi po talaga po pwede because nga may labor ban ka. Okay, pero kung nag-apply ka sa free zone company, po pwede. Or vice versa. But there's also an option guys, if you are from labor visa, ito yung normal dito, hindi free zone company. Yung normal na dito na labor sa UAE. If you, let's say, na, na, na labor ban ka sa isang company, but if you are a professional, okay, and then your salary offer na na-receive is more than 5,000, please correct me if I'm wrong nga, baka hindi na ako updated, nalilift po ang labor ban. So, kaya di ba, as you can see, di ba na maraming mga managers dito sa UAE na 
hindi pa natatapos ang kontrata, nagre-resign sila. Pero bakit nakakakuha sila ng trabaho right away? It's because nalilift po ang kanilang labor ban because of the profession and because of the uh, tawag nito yung uh, uh, salary offer kasi malaki. Okay, so yun yun. Sana nakatulong ako sa question mo, Jerwin. And of course, so yun guys, speaking of, I am wearing, I am proud wearing it, trending Pinoy ng GMA, uh, Pinoy TV. My good friend guys, Steve Patrick Moore is one of the host. Ayan, so sana makadala ulit ako sa bahay nila. So just check out guys ang kanilang Facebook page, trending Pinoy. So hello of course sa, sa Alpha Media na na behind sa mga videos na ginagawa nila. So na met ko yung yung tawag nito yung team nila last night and I'm so happy to have like small plans and ako ano-ano pa kaya yon. Okay so guys please follow niyo na po or i-like niyo na ang trending Pinoy sa Facebook. Oops. Okay so guys if you have question please guys don't be shy just write down in the comment box below. Okay, I'm sharing now yung link ng Facebook page ng Trending Pinoy. Please guys, support and don't forget to like and watch their episodes. Saan tama yan? Isa pa. Susuko. You're welcome, Jerwin. Hey, Mr. Echo is watching us. Good afternoon, sir. Sa lahat ng mga... Tawag nito? Sa lahat ng team ng Alpha Media. Good afternoon. Welcome dito sa buhay sa Dubai Live. So open topic tayo nga again guys. So anything that you would like to ask about Dubai, about being an OFW, about visa, ticket, course, uh, chika. <laughs> Pati chika, you know. So in a couple of minutes guys, ibibigyan namin kayo ng isang entertainment muna. So JP, be ready. Since Valentine's pa rin naman eh, di ba? So sa lahat ng mga in love dyan, Meron tayong isang special in-house talent na magsishare sa inyo ng napakagandang love song. So guys, if you visit guys ang aking buhay sa Dubai Facebook page, naka, ano doon, naka pin on top ang aking interview of course with our Consul General Paul Raymond Cortez and Madam Doctora Yasmin Balahadia Cortez. So it's a 50 tag questions. If you wanted to know them as a person, as a girlfriend, boyfriend, as as a family na, as kabayan natin dito sa Dubai, as console general, at kung just anything that you would like to know them more, ayun po, panonoorin nyo po yan, just go to my Boy sa Dubai page, naka, ano po doon, nakapin yung, yung video uh, of my interview kina console general Paul Raymond Cortez and Madam Yasmin. So, super nakakatawa ang conversations namin doon. Okay, JP! Are you ready to rumble? I think I'm ready. Okay guys, so now, ito sa mga viewers natin, ayun, special number muna tayo from our in-house mm -hmm. talent, JP Epic Tourism. Hit it! Let's play something Tagalog naman. Um, see? I'm here. <laughs> uh, hold on. Give me a moment here. Seems like it's loading. Asensya na po. Mahina ang internet. Medyo may technical problem tayo dito. 
Here we go. My own account, na is malaman, maari bang magtanong? Alam mo ba matagal na kita nilibig? Matagal na kung naghintay, ngunit mayroon ka na. Pinamahal Kung kaya't ako'y di mo pinapansin Ngunit ganoon pa man Nais kong malaman mo Ang puso ko nito'y para lang sa'yo Nandito ako Umiibig sa'yo Kahit na nagdurugo ang puso Kung sakaling iwanan ka niya Huwag kang mag-alala May nagmamahal sa'yo Nandito ako Ako ay iyong ibigin Di kailangan ng malamba Pagkat ako ay iyong alipin Ikaw lang wala ng iba Ngunit mayroon ka na Ibang minamahal Kung kaya't Ako'y di mo pinapansin Ngunit ganun pa man Ang nais kong malaman mo Ang puso ko ito'y Para lang sa'yo Nandito ako Umiibig sa'yo Kahit na nagdurugo ang puso Kahit na, sorry, iwanan ka niya Huwag kang mag-alala, may nagmahal Napanagal yung lyrics Nandito ako Nandito ako Madam, are you ready to face the camera? Okay. So anyway guys, so yun, thank you so much JD for sharing that. And of course, again guys, this is the plaque of appreciation na binigay ng uh, Phil Club 2017 to MPQ Tourism. Thank you so much. So ulitin natin guys, no, sa lahat po ng mga viewers natin, especially to those who are living sa Dera area, MPQ Tourism guys, ito ha, MPQ Tourism Alriga Brands is already open. So you can always visit guys our office. We are located at Office 707. Green Corner Building, Alriga. So, same building po yan ng Burger King or opposite po kami ng Piriyahan or just beside Algor Center. So, you can also guys call us in our telephone number at 04-222-8002. Ayan, or may contact number is nandyan po sa taas. Okay? So, again, sa ulitin po natin sa lahat po ng mga kababayan natin na mag-exit guys. There is no exit po during Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Kaya po, as much as possible again, 
my request to everyone na mag-exit po talaga, always guys, book your exit as early as possible. Okay, so I think that's all for today guys. I will try to, to do the Facebook live streaming tomorrow ng earlier. Kasi nga, supposedly, I'm, I always really wanted to do the Facebook live streaming ng 11 o'clock. Pero medyo naging busy lang kanina, kaya yon. So, thank you so much again guys. So, kahit hindi nyo po napanood to ng live, you can still comment in the comment box below. And if you have inquiries, ticket man yan, just write down in the comment box below or you can send me what's up, okay, sa aking number. Alright, thank you so much guys and have a nice Saturday to everyone. Ciao!